Hello, welcome to uh, Daniel Speaks Into a Webcam All by Himself, episode 9, November 3. Uh, this is a uh, release week. We're uh, coming to the end of the eight week cycles in the Curl project. Release every eight weeks until, uh, on Wednesday. So this time we have um, uh, release 142, just another release. Basically, we have a, a small set of changes we do. We have a new reload feature for reloading cookies from a file in the API. We have a slightly improved way to find um, pro uh, keys for SSH connects like SCP and SFTP. We we have a, a support for a new support for SSL public key pinning, uh, which is nice, and we that's kind of a been a requested feature. So uh, we don't have that for all the SSL backends yet, but we're coming. And uh, we, uh, yeah, right, we dropped one of the uh, TLS libraries we supported before too, the one called QSO SSL, which is an OS 400 library. I don't think that'll hurt too many users, but we support another one on that platform, the, the GS kit one, which apparently is the one that everyone uses and is supposed to be the one today anyway. So we have like nine or 11 TLS libraries supported today depending on, on how you count the LibreSSL and boring SSL uh, forks of OpenSSL. Uh, and there's this, uh, I mentioned before, there's a vulner vulnerability, security vulnerability to be disclosed on Wednesday too in, in curl uh, up until 7.38.0 and a range of versions back. And I'm gonna uh, detail a little bit about that in my next episode and explain perhaps in some detail exactly um, what went wrong and how it could potentially somehow at some point affect someone. I don't, there's not a, there's not a high risk problem, I think. We'll see. Uh, there's, there will be different um, opinions about that, I'm sure. We have so far 51 listed bug reports in this pending uh, release and there are like 200 something commits since the previous release so far. And uh, yeah, right, we have two outstanding things that won't really be fixed in this release, but uh, we have to uh, continue on working on them. And, and one is that we have a, a guy called Carlo Wood who's working a lot with pipelining and the, and the socket action API in, in libcur, and he's found a lot of problems and bugs play bugs probably, and he has he's done a lot of work and patches on that, and we have, won't be able to get to the bottom of all those before the release. So I'm sure we will continue on after this release and hopefully get much improved pipelining for HTTP 1.1 pipelining then for the next release. And we have some concerns about the MKCA bundle script that creates a CA cert bundle out of the Mozilla bundle. Um, <clears throat> because the defaults, if you run it as default, as we do on the curl website where we offer the crsert.pem -pem file for download, that pem file bundle doesn't contain all the certificates that Mozilla hosts. And that's because you need another extra kind of property set that says, don't really trust this. And then um, I haven't really worked out exactly how we should uh, deal with this by default, but but um, I don't like that we have to kind of lower our requirements to get the certificates in. So, well, it's being discussed on the current users mailing list and we'll see how we'll proceed with those. The, the um, outcome, I mean, the, the side effect with with, with this, um, not including these certificates in the bundle. If you download this bundle and use it, you, you'll see that you uh, can connect to, uh, at least to some Amazon websites. And that's kind of a blow to a large amount of users. Uh, and uh, speaking about then uh, TLS and stuff, uh, I've been talking about, uh, I've been following the WGET mailing, emailing list a bit, and there they have discussed, actually, the, sub, the question was brought up about dropping the OpenSSL support completely and just sticking to the GNU TLS one. They introduced GNU TLS as the default uh, TLS backend library to use 
uh, a while ago, and that was uh, the library within the GNU project to use for TLS. And since then, GNU TLS left the GNU project again, but they still haven't really decided on how, how to proceed with that in the WGETS project. So they discussed how to proceed. And I uh, suggested to them that we should, or that they should uh, work with the similar TLS backend that we do in libcurl, which is a unified one that supports all these nine or 11 back libraries at the same time, which of course isn't, uh, I mean, it isn't really um, a library yet that we can just, oh, here, go and use this. We have all these tests and documentation and so on. But <clears throat> at least I have kind of started the work of, of putting it separately into a library. So uh, if there's a desire, if there's an actual potential user of this, we can make some extra effort and go the last mile and actually rip that out of libcurl and remove all the libcurl specific stuff and, and make sure that libcurl uses that and other users could use that, like wget. I, I, I blogged about this years ago, so I know there are other potential users of a client-side unified TLS library with pluggable backends. But I don't know, there's a lot. So, cut, and I'm back. So, yeah, I was mentioning the TLS stuff. Forget about that now. In the HTTP, HTTP, HTTP2, uh, project the draft 15 uh, came out last week and uh, there are the much debated uh, requirements on uh, cypher suites for for uh, deploying hp2 over tls was dropped the section 922 uh, but what wasn't changed was the other much debated thing about um, changing the reference the the hpack table set for, for the hpack uh, compression, which is the header compression method used for HTTP2. So there were uh, some stuff changed, some didn't. Uh, otherwise, draft 15 is binary compatible with the um, 14 version. So there, are, I think most implementers will just remain on the 14 uh, on the wire since uh, that's what's being used basically all over right now. And uh, draft 15 introduces a new error code too. Wireshark is updated to that new error code, so they're up to date. NGHTP, NGHTP, HTTP2 is also updated with that uh, error code. So if you rebuild curl with that new library, it will just magically work the same way as before, and it'll be, it'll, it'll say draft 14 in the, in the headers, but it'll be, it knows about that new error code. Fun. <clears throat> Firefox, uh, I obviously introduced a bug when I um, did my changes about how to react to network changes. You know, when when we're switching, switching Wi-Fi network or disabling a VPN on off, when you changed network topology quite a lot, I introduced a lot of minor things to make sure that the, the new refreshing, I flash caches and blah, 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 so, and, when, when we change network, we also send pings on connections that can send pings, like WebSockets, Speedy, HTTP2. And then when I did that, I introduced a bug for WebSockets, and uh, that bug was found and fixed by cool contributors to Firefox. And after that was fixed, I landed my fix for network changes on the Macintosh. And I blogged about it too, if you want to read some specific details about it. Um, otherwise, I'm still struggling with the uh, kind of low. I, I'm, I'm having that on a kind of a background task to just get the, the uh, uh, Linux version of the network changes things done, because I still have my Firefox OS test failures. So and I, and I got a full Firefox emulator built. Uh, on my machine and I ran all the test cases, but I couldn't repeat the test case failures locally. So there's uh, that's that. So I need to uh, do it do it the hard way, I guess. Figure out exactly why or what I can do to make sure that the test cases stop failing in the test uh, setup that we have. Blah blah blah. Uh, otherwise, I'm back on the old fun bug uh, 
with the the, the um, two three seven six two four bug, I believe it's, it's uh, over ten years old, and it's about this uh, being strict about the HTTP one dot one framing. Basically, if the content length size isn't the same as the content length provided in in the HTTP response, consider that error. Or if we get a chunked encoding response from a server and we don't get the final um, zero size chunk, consider that bad. Both of those problems kind of we had to revert since we got uh, like a dozen or so bug reports from people who are actually using them servers or web applications that are depending on this weird and wrong behavior. So yeah, I'm uh, slowly getting back on track to put back some further restrictions again, but trying to do it in another way this time to make sure that we can make the checks stricter again, but still um, handle these um, broken cases. Since these broken cases are somewhat uh, narrow in scope, so we can put kind of try to make sure that we support those broken cases, but we still uh, detect the general badness. We'll see. I have some ideas and we're discussing that in the bug report if you're curious and if you have ideas. Uh, that's it for this week. See you again next week to, to the big uh, celebration of uh, episode 10. And then I'll um, talk more about the curl vulnerability and I uh, have some other Firefox stuff and there's whatever. See you.